inside that vacuum port. Okay. And it gets so clogged up, we can't get any vacuum to the pressure switch. Okay. Uh, you know, if you wanted me to do a tune-up today, I can. It's an extra $160 mm -hmm. on top of what you paid for your copay. Right. Normally, we charge $220. Okay. You do a cleaning and a tune-up. Okay. Uh, unless you just want to wait till maybe September or something, you know, right before winter. It's up to you. But, yeah, so that's that hole was all plugged up, basically. It couldn't pull any air to the pressure switch. I see. So I just took a little thing and ramrodded it out and blew it out and cleaned it and okay. fired at it. So, and is there a pilot light or no? It's just There's a switch. There's an igniter, hot surface igniter in here. Okay. Right there, the little tiny one. Okay. There's a flame sensor up in there that can get dirty, that can cause issues sometimes when they get dirty. Okay. But yeah, that's that's okay. what was going on. Okay. So when I bought this house, the seller had um, a dehumidifier that ran all the time. Did Do you think? Yeah. Do you think it was to prevent that? To help with that? Yes. Yeah. Uh, moisture, being really cold down here with moisture down here uh -huh. will promote more corrosion and growth. Okay. Just because that's just the moisture reacting with the metals and the gas and it just makes it get corroded. I see. So a dehumidifier would definitely help with that. It would? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I took it out because it was like, well, is it just, you know, I don't know, I should get a hydrometer, I guess. I, I, I see that most of the time when they're...